When I first walked into the room, I didn't know what to expect. You've seen the, the works you made, like you worked 14 months on, on the two panels. And yeah, you know how they look. You've seen them thousands of times, every little detail. But then you, you see the triptych for the first time next to each other on huge screens. It was like, um, I couldn't close my mouth. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this, is, this is unreal. Some years ago, the Monty Museum wanted to ce celebrate the anniversary of 500 years of Jeroen Bosch. And uh, they wanted to do a new uh, reinterpretation of the Garden of Earthly Delights and asked us to do the middle panel. So that's where it started. The middle panel is actually the kind of garden or playground where uh, humanity uh, projecting himself in different kind of avatars. Paradise is a more crowded place. I would say it's a, a projection of our digital selves, a garden of super egos. So when Paradise was done, uh, we launched it uh, online. And a lot of people uh, viewed it, like millions, millions of people. After that, we got an email from Collection Solo asking us if we were interested in selling the piece. So when we went to Madrid to talk about the possible collaboration, we soon came to the conclusion that it was the next logical step was completing the triptych. So uh, On Chaos commissioned uh, the other two panels, uh, Eden and Hell. Our piece, this triptych, is, is actually, uh, it happens in the same time, but they are projections on different levels. Uh, when you look at Eden, uh, Eden we could call uh, Silicon Valley inside out. Eden as uh, sort of an internet garden or an amusement park uh, before it's open. It tricks you, it fools you into that you're thinking it, it's, it's part of a nature that's happening. Uh, over there. To us it's also, besides a carnival, it's also a, an abstract mapping of the internet. And when we see hell, we still call it hell. It's a kind of projection of our fears. When we don't watch out, we will end up like that. Right panel, of course, is the hangover. Um, hell is a place with, where you can see our worst fears becoming reality. I think if uh, Bosch was alive right now, he would definitely make an animated painting. And I can remember when we came here now and, and we saw the three pieces next to each other. That was the moment when I got the really relief. Okay, this is this is great, and I. That was the first moment when I really could be happy about the piece. And I thought, wow, this is, this is real cool. That was magical to me. So I would love, uh, I would love when uh, people start looking at the, at the piece, that they get sucked into it and they, uh, never want to leave.